Hi everyone, welcome to episode 25 of the By the Lakeside podcast. My name is Sandy and this is a podcast about my knitting and sewing and whatever other crafting I am doing here in my home studio, which is by the lake. I live just outside of Toronto in Canada and I feel like it has been a really long time since I did a regular podcast. I did Vlogmas, which I loved over December, and I think I did one or two other Vlogmases since then. And my last episode was a collaboration with Eric from the Sticks Plus Twine podcast, which was so much fun. And we got such great feedback from that. So thank you so much for all of your feedback. And we are definitely going to try and do that again because we have just so much fun getting together and talking about our knitting and everything else. So today I am just here to do a regular podcast. It is episode 25 and I noticed in the last month that I have surpassed 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, which seems kind of crazy. And as a thank you, I wanted to do a little giveaway. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in the episode. So stay tuned for that. And if you're interested, I will um, tell you how you can enter and where to do that. If you are looking for me elsewhere, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Sandy Ran. Um, we also have a podcast group on the Ravelry site. Under the groups tab, it is the By the Lakeside podcast group. And I also have a website, which is bythelakeside.com. And through that, you can get to my Etsy shop where I sell bags. So I think I'm just going to jump right in. I'm not sure if this is going to be a quick one or a long one, if I'm going to be chatty or not. So let's get started. I do not have any finished objects right now. I've actually been, um, oops, I've actually been doing a lot of spring cleaning and organizing and shop work, just working on some new products and kind of streamlining all of my processes at home. So I feel like I've been knitting, but I haven't been making a ton of progress on anything. So I decided to focus on just the few projects that I'm showing you right now. I put my sock knitting aside, unless it's in my purse, but I pulled out some of my favorites. The first one you have seen before, but I just wanted to share it again. It is in my fringe feel bag, and it is the Second Avenue Wrap by Amy Miller. So here it is. I love this pattern. It is starting to get a little bit large, um, so it sits kind of in one spot in the house and I'm, I'm just really enjoying it. I wanted to show you the progress. It's taking forever in this one particular section, but here it is. I am loving it. It is all Plucky Knitter, um, the Primo fingering, which has a bit of cashmere in it. I've talked about the colors before and the yarn, so um, you can check out the Ravelry project page that I have for this if you're interested. But I've just been plugging away on this mustard colored section, which is a beautiful eyelet section. It's really, really pretty. Um, I'm almost there. I just have a couple more inches to do. So I'm trying to get through it because I'm just anxious to get on to the next section. But I love the colors. I love how it's turning out. It's just really, really luxurious feeling with the the Primo fingering. And I'm just happy to make progress on it. I just really want to get this done because I really want to wear it. It is so beautiful. And coming up next will be um, this gray color. So I'm excited to get that color in there. A um, little bit more to do in this. Then there's another eyelet section in the navy. And then at the end, I'm really looking forward to doing a rugby stripe with these two. So that is the Second Avenue wrap. It's just a really beautiful kind of scarf wrap. And I'm really into scarves right now, so I can't wait for this one. This one I think has my heart right now. I'm just really, really happy while knitting it, so it makes me feel good. So that is project number one that is on my priority list. Project number two is a fun one. I'm really enjoying it and it's some color work. It is in this gorgeous retro kind of bag from the Fat Squirrel. 
I've talked about this bag before too, and I love it. I love the size of it, and I love that it's kind of in um, like a bit of a decor weight fabric, a little bit heavier than a regular quilting cotton. It's just a really nice bag. And in here, let's see if I can get the first page out. I am working on the Patiki Cowl from Aroha Knits. So I don't have plans right now to do the, the hat, but I really wanted to have some fun with this cowl. I was totally inspired by um, a sample knit in it, um, or sample knit in this beautiful yarn from Primrose Yarn Company. Not these colors, but um, in a booth that they had at Rhinebeck, there was a beautiful sample out and I took a picture of it to remind myself and I just picked out my own colors and I really, really love this project. So it's using the Primrose yarn. Uh, this color is Abyss and this is Soda Pop. And here is my cowl so far. It's really fun too. I'm really enjoying this. It, although it's a chart and I do have to concentrate, it's not complicated. It's just a really relaxing knit. And I just adore how these little flecks of peach and green are coming through. It's just beautiful. I can't wait to wear this one. It's, it's another project I'm loving. Oh, it's so much fun. And every time, you know, I want to, I just want to put my knitting down. I think just one more row, just one more, because I'm loving seeing the pattern emerge. I'm not sure if I'm doing the best job in the back. It feels pretty good. Um, the floats seem okay and they're not too tight. So I think it's good. Anyways, I love it. I'm so happy with this. So these are the two um, that I have really been focusing on for the last few weeks. And then I have a third one, which is a brand new cast on. And I think I was I was totally inspired to make this. I'd seen the pattern before and it's beautiful and I knew it was on my to make list one day. But I was watching um, the Nice and Knit Ladies. They have yarn, they're yarn dyers and have um, a yarn company. I think they're in Connecticut and their yarn is beautiful. But they just put out their first podcast, which I really, really enjoyed. I love all the projects that they make, their sisters. Um, the yarn colors are totally my thing. And um, one of the sisters had knit this in their yarn and I, I just knew right away I had to make it. So this one is in one of my signature bags, the large one. And it is a pattern by Espace Tricot, another set of ladies that I adore. And it's the Getting Warmer Cowl. I mean, it's almost like a shrug of some kind. It's not just a regular cowl to me. Um, and what I really loved about the Nice and Knit version that I saw on their podcast of this was that they used um, a worsted with a fingering. So they kind of got this really interesting marled effect with a little bit of color. And I wanted to pick out something kind of different. So I ordered this beautiful color called Nutmeg from the Nice and Knit website. It is beautiful. It's really, really nice to work with. It's super soft. I really, really enjoy it. And let's see here. It is 100% superwash merino wool in the worsted weight. Um, and I bought two of those for this pattern. And I had originally planned to wrap it with a fingering that was really sweetly gifted to me from my friend Meg of Wool and Cookies podcast. She sent me this gorgeous Christmas gift of, um, I think it's a special colorway for her local knit shop, which is Wool and Honey, and it's the Evening Swim colorway. And it is stunning. I love this so, so much. And I think I just really wanted to use it, which is why I thought I'm gonna order the worsted and wrap it with this. And I was happy. But when I started to cast on, it was a little bit too light. It's just a little bit too, um, like it was actually looking white when I wrapped it with, or when I um, joined it with the brown, the nutmeg. 
and it just wasn't giving me the effect that I really wanted. So I looked around. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have an update last week and I was super anxious. I was kind of waiting for it, but um, I think I'm just gonna have to catch some of their other yarns in one of their next updates. But instead, I found this beautiful hedgehog fibers. Well, I purchased it. I found it online and I purchased it from a local shop in Toronto. Um, it's called Units. And I thought maybe this would do it and it was kind of a risk, so I ordered it. It's called Bubble. It's a skinny single, which I love. I love their skinny, uh, skinny singles. Beautiful colors, really vibrant, really bright. And I'm thrilled with how it is turning out so far. I've been knitting on this all weekend. Way. and I'm so so happy with it so you can see it's still got that beautiful nutmeg base and then I've got that fingering in there which is adding just a beautiful amount of color I think I love it so there's lots of kind of colors popping through but the blue is really predominant and I'm really happy with it I was kind of worrying that am I making this too late in the in the year but we're gonna have cold and chilly weather for quite some time even if we do get warmer days um, and I am trying to go for more walks at night or in the evenings with my family so I think even if I don't need a jacket this would be great by the lake so anyways I'm loving it I can't get enough of it I think um, I'm just about done the rib section it's a free pattern. You can get this pattern on Ravelry. It is the Getting Warmer pattern by Espace Tricot. And I highly recommend it so far. I know everyone that has made it and talked about it, loved it, and I think has even talked about making a second. So those are my three projects. I am thrilled with them. I think I'm in um, kind of like a knitting piece right now where no matter what mood I'm in, I have something that I can pick up. And once in a while, the Second Avenue wrap gets put aside just because it's a bit more um, repetitive and the other two projects are a little more fun. But it's just perfect. I'm really happy with these right now. And I'm also really anxious to finish a bigger project. I think the last few projects that I finished were a hat and a sock. And I just really want something a little more substantial to finish. And I think after that, I'm gonna start looking at what sweater I'd like to cast on next. And just so many knitting projects I wanna do this year, but I'm gonna be really mindful and try to cast on the ones that I'm really in the mood for. So that's where my knitting is at. I don't even have a lot of dream knitting to talk about right now because what I'm knitting is my dream knitting and I'm so happy. So, let's see. I had um, a great update a couple of weeks ago in my shop. So thank you to anyone who um, purchased. And I know that um, they do sell out, some of them sell out, like the signature bags sell out quite quickly. Um, so I'm trying to make more of those, but I'm also trying to put in um, some print patterns that I think are really fun for this season. And I'm doing my updates a little less often so that I will have more. Um, and, and hopefully it seems like more people are getting them that way instead of selling out um, quickly. So I have a few more coming. Um, I'm working on them right now. It's probably gonna take me another couple weeks just because I do have quite a few of them that I'm doing. And I just thought I would give you a little sneak peek of what's to come. They're not even completed here yet, but I've got some more signature bags in a little bit of a different denim stripe, which I think is really pretty. I still have to put the labels on these. Um, I loved this feather print that I had a while back, so I'm bringing back a few more of those because I think they're really, really great. I found this beautiful floral print that is just so spring to me. Oops, there's the one with the label. And I have a really pretty peach and pink lining for this one. And I've had this one before. I had a little more fabric in my stash and I just love it. I think it's really whimsical and sweet. It's a cotton and steel fabric, which is one of my favorites. And so I will have some more of these. I'm also going to be having some 
uh, of the larger signature bags and also I think a polka dot one. So lots of bags to come for spring. And one of the things that I have been working on in the last, um, last week was a new item that I have been thinking about since before Christmas, maybe even November. And I posted a photo of it on Instagram. I've just been so excited about this project and I finally got everything in order to make it happen. It wasn't something I could just do. I had to source some leather, uh, the right zippers, uh, the right presser foot for my sewing machine because I've really been wanting to do some leather pouches. This is my absolute first one ever, so there are a few little things that I'm going to modify. Um, I didn't have the right zipper for it either, but I put in a, a metal zipper just to kind of see how it looked, and I really love it. And I thought to make it a little bit my own, I would put a little bit of the signature denim that I use. This one is lambskin and it is buttery, buttery soft. I love leather. You guys know um, from some of the planner supplies and leather covers that I use for my, my sketchbooks and planners. I really, really have a thing for leather. And so this has been something I've been wanting to do for so long. So happy with it. So I'm using this right now just as a pouch. Um, if I'm running out to the store and I don't want to bring my purse, which sometimes happens, I don't like just carrying my wallet and phone because I always feel like I'm going to drop something. So right now this is perfect to hold um, my wallet, my phone, my keys, a lip balm. Um, you know, right now it's got my, it's also got my toasty mitts in there, which is something I've been using all winter. This is probably my most used, most worn knit ever. And this is um, a pattern by Leslie from A Friend to Knit With. I love it. And I am planning on making a few more of these and popping them in my shop as well as a larger one because I've had lots of um, requests from people um, for more pouches and my patchwork pouches are fun and I love them but they're really small and I didn't really want to start doing the larger and larger sizes in patchwork um, because fabric quantities are sometimes an issue and I just I thought these were really clean and elegant and I wanted to do a larger one that you could use as a project bag if you wanted to but it's a bit larger and you'd be able to fold it as a clutch as well. So I think it'd be a great multi-purpose piece if you're a knitter or if you have, I've had someone message me um, that's a, mom, a young mom and she doesn't carry a traditional diaper bag. So she carries her, her regular bag and she wants one of these just to put in a couple of diapers and a little um, small pouch of wipes and she's good to go. Um, but then if you're traveling with it, if you're on a trip, you can actually take everything out of it, like your, your knitting project or your baby stuff or whatever, and you could use it as an evening clutch so you don't have to bring an extra bag with you. So this is on the horizon. I should have some of these. I'm not sure if they'll make it in the next shop update, but definitely in either the next one in March or um, possibly April, just because I need to source some more leather that I love and I'm really having fun with these. So I'm excited about this. This has been so much fun. Um, and I think that's it for shop news. I do have a couple of things that I got recently that I wanted to share. When I ordered the um, hedgehog fibers for the Getting Warmer cowl in Bubble, I picked up another one just in case I thought um, if the blue one didn't work out, which it did and it was fine, but this is a color that I have been wanting to get for years, actually. It's one of the, the first hedgehog fibers colors that I've ever seen and I loved it and it's fool's gold. I've seen it used in so many fades with pinks and I just loved it. So I thought I'll pick this one up too and uh, keep it on hand in case there's any other shawl or project I'd like to do. It's a beautiful color. It's um, the Skinny Singles in fool's gold. And you can't go wrong with hedgehog, I don't think. So there was another night, and I am trying not to buy yarn, which is kind of interesting. I'm not gonna say that I'm on a no buy for the whole year, but I'm really trying to only buy yarn if I need it for a project that I am ready to cast on. Not for down the road, not for maybe one day. 
But of course there's always an exception here or two and it was, I think it was a Saturday night and we were all chilling out and I had my, um, my phone with me and I saw that Coloring Book Yarns or The Bitter Knitter on Instagram posted an update. She posted it and if you know Coloring Book Yarns, you know that you have minutes. So I quickly tried to do it on my phone. It wasn't working. I literally ran upstairs like a crazy woman, got my iPad, ordered it, got one. It is gorgeous. It is called Be Mine and um, it's a beautiful kind of Valentine's Day inspired color. And when it's knit up, because she did have a sample of the stripe, I actually found it looked a little um, softer than this. Like you're seeing a lot of the bright pink and the red, but there's a really beautiful um, pale pink and even like a peachy taupey color in there. Anyways, it's gorgeous. I can't believe I got it. This is some of my favorite self-striping yarn and it's so hard to come by. It is a fingering weight. Um, it's an 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon. I love it. It's gorgeous. Oh, I couldn't, it's like I won, it's like I won a lottery when I got that one. I couldn't believe it. I was on a high for the rest of the weekend. Um, another thing that I did get will not be in this next update because I'm already working on the bags that I've cut out for the next update, but I found some, I mean, found it. It's, it's out there. Everyone can find it, but I picked up some beautiful summery fabrics for some bags and oh, they're so pretty. I wanted to share. So I have a thing for butterflies. I think this is a gorgeous print. Excited to do that one. And this is so super fun. I think this bag has to be, has to be, this has to be made so, super cute. So I got those and I also got a beautiful floral from the Rifle Paper Company. I was totally sold on this gorgeous minty kind of pale background color. So those are all bags to come and I'm just going to be busy here. Um, I've been rearranging, well not rearranging, but kind of doing a, a pre-spring cleanup in my sewing room here. Nothing major, but I've really, I've actually took everything off the walls other than these because they stay. I took most everything off the wall. I kind of cleaned up all of my bulletin boards. I put up a new mood board or inspiration board. I got a new calendar. I just have been kind of clearing the walls and getting ready to um, just kind of get in a really like peaceful zone in here just to do some work. So it's been fun. I think I might share that in an upcoming video. Um, maybe how I've reorganized a few things. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments and that might be something I film in the future. I've been really trying to organize my yarn, organize my project bags, um, and also some projects, like which projects are kind of started, but they're in a, in a grouping that they're gonna stay on the needles and I will get to them. Um, and then I've got the sock basket I've talked about before. So just lots of organizing and I'm really enjoying uh, working in here more because of it. So lots of sewing plans. I'm gonna be in this room sewing a lot this spring, which is kind of fun. And I have a few favorite things I think I will end with. So one of my top favorite things that I got in the last couple of weeks is a new hand cream or just cream in general. I've been wanting to try this cream for a couple of years and I just don't really see it that often. I know they sell it at Target and I almost bought it when there were Target stores in Canada, but I didn't and then the Targets were gone and I'd forgotten. So I just ordered this on Amazon. It's called um, Skin Food by Walida is the brand. It is so, so thick. Um, and it, I think it's, um, I don't wanna say it's all natural, but it might be. It says on the back that it's for dry and rough skin, such as hands, feet, elbows. It is really, really nourishing. I've had extremely dry hands and cuticles. I've tried so many things and this is actually really helping. I've even been putting this on my heels um, after a shower or a bath and then putting socks on and it's kind of helping to moisturize my feet as well. And I think it is, um, 
I think it's an all natural product. So there's um, no parabens and all that kind of nasty stuff in here, which is kind of nice because I haven't really explored that in the past and I love products. So I am trying to be a little more mindful of what I use. So I would highly recommend this if you have extremely dry, dry patches or elbows or hands. It's been really, really great. I also um, made an order on the website well.ca recently because I wanted a couple of products that are hard to find. And I picked up this organic hand sanitizer. I've been really wanting a hand sanitizer in a spray format. Um, just because, I don't know, but when I'm out and I'm putting, I've already got cream on my hands, I don't always like putting, um, escorting the hand sanitizer on, and it has been so germy lately. Um, a couple of us were sick a few weeks ago, and people at school are sick, friends are sick, like, I can tell people are still carrying a lot of germs, so I thought this would be, um, something handy to pop in my purse and kind of spray the kids hands and my hands whenever we need it. Okay, another, oh, did I even say the brand? It's from Dr. Bronner's. So there. And they have that really great liquid soap, which I've used before and I love it, um, which is why I thought to try theirs. Okay, so Valentine's Day passed about a week ago and my husband gave me a gift and it has turned into one of my absolute favorite jewelry items and things. It is from Donning Collective and it is this beautiful bronze chain with this little sloth. I don't know if you can see him there. There he is. And he's hanging by his hands and his legs or hands and feet. And I just love it. So I, I've always talked about how I'm a really slow knitter and I have that slow knitters pin on my bag. And um, I just have been curious about sauce lately. And I saw these on their Instagram. It is so beautiful. Um, they're a company I think in Barrie, Ontario. And um, I just really love their aesthetic. They make beautiful pieces. And so I sent the link to my husband because I thought it was super cute. So no, he didn't come up with it all on his own, but he had a little help and he managed to order it for me for Valentine's Day. So that is one of my favorite things. And I think that covers it. I have just been um, kind of enjoying, trying to enjoy, the weather is starting to change. We've all had a case of the kind of January and February blahs where it's been kind of gloomy, but last few days it's been milder temperatures and the snow has melted and the sun is out today too, which is beautiful. So I'm kind of feeling um, hopeful that spring is around the corner and everyone is going to be outdoors more, which will be fantastic. So thank you so much for um, tuning in today. I just wanted to do a quick little announcement for a giveaway because I have just been over the moon and kind of shocked actually that this podcast has reached over 5,000 subscribers. Crazy to me because I remember, um, I remember putting out my first one and being super nervous and wondering if anyone would even see it. Like how would they even find this podcast? So I know it's all about the knitting community and so many amazing people that have shared my podcast on theirs or on Instagram. So thank you to everyone who has done that or posted a picture, um, you know, with my bags, anything like that. I really, really appreciate you and appreciate you coming and um, commenting is always great. I try to reply to every comment um, and every message on Instagram, but it has been getting a little bit more difficult, but um, please know that I am trying and that I do appreciate each and every one of you. So in appreciation, I have a little giveaway. And I think I will do this on Ravelry just because it's um, the easiest place for me to do that. So you can go over to the Ravelry group on the groups tab and find the By the Lakeside group. And I'm going to put a thread up there um, outlining the details and you'll just have to put a comment. Um, and I will do a random number generator pick for that and what you will get is 
this beautiful pattern that I have been gifted by, um, it's called the Rhinebeck is Calling Fingerless Mitts from Kay Litton of the Crazy Sock Lady. And Kay just does the most beautiful projects and she has been designing so many gorgeous socks. And this was a really exciting um, extension of that when she put this pattern out this year. It is the same pattern as the Rhinebeck is Calling Socks, which was part of the kit we did in the fall. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And I love how she doesn't have um, an extended thumb because I think I'm like her. She mentioned that um, sometimes the thumb, you don't really want that in the way. So I really, really love this pattern. Sorry, it's not in color. But as part of the prize, you will be receiving a digital copy of this pattern as well as one of my project bags to hopefully put your project in when you make it. So this was one of the florals I had in the last update and I kept a couple because I really wanted to include one in a giveaway and um, I will also throw in a couple of David's tees and maybe some stitch markers and little things that I find here and there. So that is the prize and um, I haven't figured out what the question will be yet but if you head on over to the Ravelry group um, and find the post about the 5,000 giveaway um, 5,000 subscriber giveaway, then I will just post a really simple question in there and you can answer it. Um, and that's that. And I will draw maybe by the next podcast. I think that's what I will do. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. And I'm hoping to get into a more regular routine of podcasting. And hopefully you'll see me and Eric here again sometime soon and I might even try to do um, a vlog here and there. It's just been a little bit busy but I am going to try and do all of those things and I will see you very very soon. Have a great day!